Oh, hey, Montreal. All right, now, I know the snow has been on the ground for a couple of days, so maybe it's time for us to finally accept the fact that it's winter, all right? It's here. But you know what? I'm not too stressed about it. You know why? Because today, we're going to California. Sandwiches. They may be new in town, but they're an institution back in Toronto. In the 1960s, the Papa Bertucci family were running a grocery store. But when they started selling homemade Italian sandwiches, people in Toronto started lining up around the corner for one. So, does it live up to the hype? Well, let's find out. This is Tony Papa. He co-founded California Sandwiches with his family when he was just 19. Well, the sauce. Yeah. The sauce is what makes the sandwich. And we devein our veal. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're biting something, you don't want the, the veal to stay in your mouth and the butt in your head. So we cut, we devein all the meat that we use here. You'll, you'll be more than satisfied. If you can eat a whole sandwich, that's not bad. Challenge accepted. Their veal sandwich is supposed to be a classic, so let's go with that. First, it gets tossed into a Romano cheese breading. Then, it gets an egg glaze. And a second coating. And then, into the fryer. A baker delivers the buns fresh. Spread on that famous family sauce. Slide in the veal. Toss on some fresh jalapeno of the day. And then some hand-cut sweet peppers. Onions, mushrooms, of course Italian rapini. And then more sauce. Top it off with some provolone cheese. Spread it apart. And you've got a California sandwich. All right, so right off the bat, this is hands down the biggest sandwich I've ever seen in my life. You see that it's the size of my head. I feel like I said that a lot recently, but I don't know what it is about Food in Montreal. It's getting bigger and bigger. Let's eat it. This tastes healthy, if that makes any sense. You know, authentic. I mean, I've had Italian food before, and this feels like I'm at someone's Nona's house and she just made me dinner and she's like, no, you gotta eat some more. And I'm like, no, 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 I already have the sandwich. She's like, no, 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 you gotta eat some more. Now apparently what they also recommend is they give you some sauce. You're supposed to dip the sandwich in the sauce. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Genius idea, genius. They also dished out some pasta, lasagna, meatballs, a slice of homemade tiramisu, and capped me off with a little sambusa espresso for the road. So if they sell Italian food from Toronto, why are they called California sandwiches? The people working on the front desk at the front counter, which were my nieces and my sisters, they all went away together. So when they came back, they were all beautifully tanned. So the customers started calling them the California ones. Because they were tanned. All right, so final verdict. What did I think? Well, I think the construction of Montreal really needs to chill the f out. And also, I think I've been eating at the wrong sandwich places. See, I've never been much of a sandwich guy. Uh, I've never been satisfied by them. I've never found them filling, but I think I've just been eating at the wrong places. I think I'm a born again sandwich eater. These California sandwiches, you filled me up and you did it well. You did it fresh. See you next time, Montreal.